amazing, beautiful people. Welcome. Wait, 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 wait. Let me make you all feel welcomed. Hola, aloha, ciao, salut, ni hao, namaste, ohayu, yagamasuma. Privit, buna, jindupri, siya stok. Hallo, sincha, yabosio, tere, salam alaikum, saskeka, marhaban, merhaba. My name is Brunel. For those of you who don't know, that is my greeting, my way of making everybody feel welcomed. Um, so, makeup revolution, or should I say, oh, I, keep saying, I keep thinking makeup revolution is revolution beauty revolution beauty i've got new products out surprise surprise these are called the revolution jewel collection lip toppers there are three trois tres in total um and they are basically lip toppers uh of course surprise surprise um and the first one as you saw already from the swatches over there first one is uh, uh fortune which is described as an iced silver shimmer uh, now, Fortune, to be honest, uh, works better. You've seen, uh, for me personally, you can wear these on their own. So the claims, actually, before I go any further, are... Mm, ready? I'll begin. Revolution Jewel Collection Lip Toppers bring bling to your lip look. In the in free transformative shades, these sheer, non-sticky glosses are packed with stunning shimmer to switch up your favourite lipstick. Wear alone or layer over your favorite lipstick to for a high shine finish and color shifting dual chrome effect. Boom! Voila! Mm -hmm. All right, so I've had a chance to try these ones out. This is the second time I'm filming this, so I've got a greater understanding of what these actually are like. Uh, personally, with regards to the high shine, uh, there is a shine, but I wouldn't call it high shine. I don't think so. If you want a high shine and you're really looking for high shine and less pigment, then I would advise you to go for the uh, Pro Lip uh, lip Pigment because they are super shiny, super shiny. Uh, with regards to them being non-sticky, actually, that's true, it's non-sticky. However, if you're not careful and you put a bit too much, you are going to get a little line and build up and it won't be look really nice. It will look as if you are advertising an STD. But uh, if that's what you want to do, who am I to stand in your way? Uh, I just think it might be a bit suspect. I wouldn't advise it. But um, and also, I think that I don't think they'll work really, really fantastically well on their own. Personally, um, I mean, I think that the, the shine, I like the fact, the fact that the shine is manageable. It's not extreme. But um, on their own, they're just meh. The only one that really kind of stands out more is the one that's got the gold, which is the luxurious. Luxurious actually on its own stands out more. But I think they're far more effective if you choose the right kind of lipstick. Uh, for example, at the moment, I am wearing Exquisite on, on top of a lipstick. And the lipstick I've got is... Uh, uh, Milani's teddy bear and the lip pencil I've got is a Morphe lip pencil in the color bar which is a brown and I've put that through and I think that's far more effective um, and really yeah that's that's the way I think uh, that's what I think about it it's four pounds the cost for these um, and in each one of these I believe I'm not sure if it's still vegan but I think that they are make a revolution of actually or revolution beauty I should know most things are vegan uh, cruelty free as well and this one um, is uh, uh, you've got one point uh, not 4.5 mil or 0 0.16 fluid ounces in each one of these um, I do like the formula I do like that my lips feel moisturized and taken care of and luxurious and loved and succulent and singly and uh, <laughs> you, you get the mean it, they're nice but if you are not careful and you put too much on it, you're going to get a build up. And to me, that's uh, that's not nice. So be mindful. I think also if you're going to apply this, they actually work better if you allow whatever lipstick you put as a base to dry first, uh, if possible, and then apply it afterwards because otherwise it can get a bit messy if you're applying a wet lipstick on top of this with the gloss. Um, yeah, uh, I just think it works better with the base being dry. Um, and I think that's it. But a four pound a pop, I'm quite happy with these. Obviously, uh, the iced one works really well if you're choosing things like purple shades and burgundy shades. You will actually get a real pop of color. And uh, the um, le sorry, exquisite works really well with things like these colors, like these, where it kind of like a, a 
neutral kind of lipsticks and so on and of course you've got the gold if you've got your brown shades and so on or even any other color actually and you just want to create a, some kind of duochrome effect then that work really well so they're quite effective if you choose the right base but on their own i don't i think I'll, i can pass really to be honest uh, but if you haven't got lip toppers good ones in a decent formula uh, that's non-sticky that makes you you know it moisturizes your lips at the same time and it's not super super high shine beaming into space scotty where if i look up uh, right now outside uh, you know some alien's gonna go Woo! cover 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 um, then these are it if that makes any sense as usual Thank you very much for watching my videos. I do appreciate the fact that you watch them because I put a lot of effort into recording these, you know. I mean, it's Sunday and uh, uh, I'm, a, you know, I'm busy. I'm a busy, busy person. So thanks for watching. And if you haven't subscribed, why not? Eh? Eh? What's going on here? What's going on? No, honestly, if you haven't and you don't feel like it, eh. Uh, but if you do, thank you very much. I appreciate it. And of course, comment. I am a nosy person and I will always, always reply to your comment. Or if you see a like, it's most likely it is me. No comment gets ignored unless it is nastiness. And then I'm not interested. But other than that, 